Dominic Toretto just went rogue. So we're gonna find him together as a team. Surprise. Come and get him. Is that a torpedo? Take the wheel! Why to the speed, ice rake. Well, guys, have a ball and a big apple. New York is such a great canvas for streetcar chases. New York took careful planning and incredible patience. When you say you're going to do a car chase in New York City, the New York Police Department have seen Fast and Furious movies and they know the destruction that we incur. Every place we shoot has its own challenges. And being in New York, you have a lot of cars, a lot of people. And they're not going to stop for a movie crew. Action! Dom's team on the street is so iconic primarily because you don't ever see cars like that going that fast in New York City. And the fact that we hit every single iconic spot. We shot Flatiron Building, the library, Times Square. When you see our team drive through Times Square, it is one of the most dynamic action sequences ever. We would drive and you'd see mass crowds cheering us on. I continue to be amazed at how we top ourselves every single time. Just doing the biggest, craziest action sequence ever. I think that New York sequence is going to blow people's minds. You guys ready? No one's ready for this. No! Man, back in the cut like that! Hey, Vale here. Like me, are you a movie lover? Well, a list has been released of the top 100 films of the 21st century and we have cut it down to give you the top 10 films as selected by 177 film critics from around the world. At number 10, No Country for All Men by Joe and Ethan Cohen from 2007. At number 9, A Separation by Asghar Farahadi from 2011. Number 8, Yee Yee, A One and uh, A Two by Edward Yang from 2000. Number 7, The Tree of Life by Terence Malick from 2011. Number 6, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind by Michael Gondry from 2004. Number 5, Boyhood by Richard Linklater from 2014. Number Four, Spirited Away uh, by Ayao Mikayadzi uh, from 2001. Number three, There Will Be Blood by Paul Thomas Anderson from 2007. Number two, In the Mood for Love by Wong Karvai from 2000. And number one, Mulholland Drive by David Lynch from 2001. Do you agree with this list? How many of these films have you seen? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye-bye.